Hello everyone, I'm going to quickly talk about today how to uh, use Camera Path 2 and uh, how to quickly set up a um, project using it. So I'm going to assume that from the asset store you've already got it imported it into your project and you should see it down here in the project folder Camera Path 2. Um, it will look something like that. Um, and if it is properly imported then you'll get a new menu option at the top here, Camera Path, which we only have one option for which is create a new path. Go ahead and click that. Um, and that will create just a basic empty uh, game object with two scripts on it, which is basically everything you need to, to be creating your path. Um, add new point and click this a couple of times, and that will create two points, which basically will be the, the, the most basic curve you can have. Um, the new thing I've added is um, these secondary control points so that we can actually control the curve uh, outside of uh, the, these control points. So each control point actually has two sub control points to control the curve. The first one designates where the curve is going to go through and, and also how the curve uh, behaves. But the second control point dictates how this curve uh, acts after it's left this point. So we can have uh, far more control over where where these um, where these points are going. Um, as, as before, we, uh, we still uh, control these control points um, by default with the rotation of each control point. Um, as you can see here, we've got our preview window um, and, it, and it updates as we uh, change this so we can get a good idea of where we're actually facing. We can really target stuff if we, if we really need to uh, be hitting, hitting, like looking at something at this specific point. Um, but of course, we, we have the other modes. So there's, there's also target mode. Notice that when you go into target mode, um, it will warn you that there is no target specified. So you need to basically uh, select a target. So let's select this cube here, one of these cubes, and pop it into the target box, which is just down here. Just this cube. And now you'll notice that it's this cube here. And we have these red lines that designate where these points are going to look. So if we then look at these points there, they're now facing where they should be facing. Um, so as you can see here, once we have the two points, um, and I'll show you this if I delete it, we don't have the preview window, but as soon as you have two points, you will then get this preview window, which tells you, which shows you exactly what your animation is doing. So at the moment, we're just animating like this, which isn't particularly interesting, but um, at least we can see what's going on. So if I pull this here, we also have these options down here, which um, allow us to uh, add new points. So you can add a new point here, and it will try and extrapolate out uh, to somewhere interesting um, where it thinks it should go. It's just a basic equation for that, because obviously you could want it go. You want it. To, you could want it to go anywhere. Um, as you'll notice as well, um, by default. I leave the, uh, these points, these control points, these secondary control points, uh, in the middle. And when they're in the middle, that means we get a um, straight line like this because there is no curve uh, defined after this curve. So if you want straight lines that like this, this is the way to do it. Just leave the control points as they are. Um, but if you want the curve, then you bring these out, and that will bring the curve for you. You can define exactly how this curve will go. You can have it a big, long, wide curve. Um, and as you can see here, if you go back into the preview, we've got this nice big long curve. So <clears throat> um, let's go through. Uh, well, let's go through the other two options. We've got mouse look, which is exactly what it says. If we press play now, you'll get a good idea. Of, basically, it's, it's just your basic mouse look. If you want your user to be able to sort of look around, if that's what you want, might be good for on the rail shooters and things like that. Um, and finally, uh, follow path, which is Again, it's pretty pretty straightforward. It just uses the path to work out where it should be looking. So there we have a crazy little bit of a curve in there, which makes it spin around like that, as you can see there. So you might want to sort of avoid crazy curves like this because it will never look good, to be honest. But if you sort of bring it around, maybe more like that, then it'll be a lot more smoother, uh, smoother animation. Whoa. So, um, they're the three, mo the four modes that we have. Um, as you can see, there's sort of some basic settings here. You can change the line color if, if, if it's clashing with something or you want to highlight it. Um, so the animation component, this actually deals with the animation. Um, it shows you the preview and it also deals with the animation at, at runtime. So 
here we have player and start and that's your basic thing if we turn that off then it's not going to play it's just going to remain where it is um, we have the time which is in seconds um, and that's going to animate this target now by default uh, camera path will grab the main camera um, but what you can do uh, is uh, select uh, anything else so let's select one of these cubes and, and see what happens when that animates across probably can't see it there but there, there's the cube <laughs> animating across that's pretty crazy um, but yeah so one of the new things is, uh, and one of the requests I've, I've, I've been asked for is uh, whether we can animate other things so now you can animate anything it's not just the camera um, obviously cameras are the main thing that people ask for so that's why I'm aiming for cameras but uh, yeah you could animate anything it could be some sort of gun turret or I don't know what else that you'd want to animate but there's a whole bunch of things you can animate now just by selecting the animation target but one thing if it isn't a camera I've got this option because of the way you should animate cameras uh, using one mono behavior which is late update if you untick this it just uses the update which is um, a bit better for um, for normal objects because obviously you just want to move your camera right at the end of the scene certainly if you're updating tar if you if you if you're in target mode it'll be better to have that because um, obviously you want your object to move and then move your camera if it's the other way around then you might get it so that it never quite looks at the the uh, target so um, that's why we have that option there um, so if it isn't it's not really going to affect too much but um, if, if you do have it on and you're not animating your camera but it's uh, definitely sort of best practice there to take it off if, 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 it, if it isn't um, so I think that's everything I mean we have the controls down here for delete and stuff like that um, we've got the handles yeah so um, camera path uh, if you have any questions uh, suggestions if you find any bugs or anything like that uh, you can email me at ja uh, email at jasperstocker.com um, and you can visit the site all the links will be below this video uh, thanks for watching